guys and not spoken to you for a little while and um there's a reason for that uh, i got a strike off youtube and uh, it was to do with my video that i put up about southampton you know the videos that i've been putting up recently where i'm kind of giving a bit of background on that particular city and some facts and figures and their videos actually take me a long time to put together. Normally it takes me around four hours to put together something that you think is pretty simple, but it's not. Because you've got to do lots of research and piece it together and, you know, the editing scenario. And invariably I'm doing it via my phone anyway. Um, so what really pissed me off is I got a violation, a strike from uh, YouTube to do with, I think, the track. That's what I'm assuming it is, because uh, I haven't done anything wrong, and uh, copyright strike, and it was the second one they'd done on the spin, and it's to do with music that um, I pay for, and it's part of a package through a company where I do a lot of my editing through. And it's really annoyed me because in the original email from YouTube, it states clearly that um, if it happens for a third time uh, they can just shut my channel down and I, I, I sent them back an email saying look you know I've worked really hard at this and I have three years I'm putting everything together no uh, media assistance or anything it's all organically done built really just by hoping people discover Chelsea SW6 and we've almost we've just chucked towards 10,000 subscribers really close actually and that'll be a monumentous achievement and i'll be really proud of that you know so it really pissed me off because i'm thinking do you know what i'll put all this time and effort and everything else in and uh you know you could just everything could just be wiped out just like that and i think it's just indicative of the way things are in this country right now where we seem to be living throughout our lives really through global globalist eyes and Silicon Valley, you know, we're talking Google, YouTube, it's all connected. They're so big. Um, what's it to them? You know, a channel of 10,000 subscribers and Chelsea SW6. But to me, you know, this last three years, I've put so much into it. And it pissed me off so much because I just thought, do you know what? I could make one little mistake now and everything could be over, you know. And if that was the case, I don't think I'd carry on, to tell you the truth. I think I'd be that. Just, you know, well, it is what it is. So that's the reason, guys. So I'll put this up. Um, well, I don't think there'll be any strikes on this one because there's no music or nothing. It's just little old me. And unless I've got a copyright on myself, I should be all right. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about Chelsea and let's talk about the fact that we were absolutely superb and there's a lot of people just you know absolutely giving out superlatives about us as a football club right now and our youth players our youngsters but we were brilliant at Southampton let's, let's have it right the first sort of 10 minutes of that game we wrote a little bit of pressure when they were pressed high up on the same one opportunity we sort of whizzed over the bar and then Q Tammy Abraham went fantastic control of the ball and of course it went over the line 1-0 and then not so long after that Mason Mount was put through and he puts us 2-0 up fantastic and then a little bit of a mistake where they managed to get down the byline and get a cross in and in front of us get a shot in on us and Danny Ings uh, brings the goal back from and you think at that point oh here we go and there was a little moment there for about 10 minutes where the crowd was really behind them. And you kind of feared for the worst. But um, we get a third goal and Galo Kante, okay, it took a deflection, but the fact that he, you know, he, he, he took a shot at goal. And in second half, we come out and you know when you've got a two goal gap, the next goal is massively important because if you get it, it's game over. If they get it, it's game on for them. Uh, so um, we were, I thought we were great in the second half. Really, really, we dictated the, the, the pace of the game. And we created many, 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 many opportunities. Certainly deserved um, of, our, of our lead. 
and him right to death. Uh, Michi Bashiwai, who come on late to replace Tammy, puts the game to bed 4-1. 4-1 away anywhere in the Premier League is a fantastic result. And it's a result that's pushed us right up, uh, you know, into fifth spot. Two points off Manchester City. You know, who would have thought that after that first game away at Old Trafford with that scoreline? We, we know the performance was good, but we, we know that that scoreline was overinflated. But it's looking really good now, it really is, you know. We've uh, got Newcastle in the next game. And um, I know they beat Manchester United, but I... You know, you, you could argue right now that we've got a good chance of getting in the top four position. And, of course, Callum hudson Madoy is back now. And uh, Rudiger, I'm told. Um, and uh, um, Palmieri, Emerson Palmieri, is likely to be available for the Newcastle game. So that's brilliant, fantastic news. And, um, you know, t uh, hopefully... Um, Ruben lost his cheek to be back as well soon. So, you know, we're in, in the international break right now. And obviously the emphasis is on our three representing England. And I don't think it'll be very long before there'll be two more joining them. And that'll be Reese and um, uh, um, Callum hudson Madoy, And then hopefully when um, Ruben's back, we might even have six players in the England team. Imagine that. You know, fantastic. So it's all good right now. It's all positive. It's you know, it's really everyone. There's a lot. Everyone's talking about us as a football club and our youngsters and and Frank Lampard and rightly so. And I think it's fantastic the way he's going about his business right now. All those players are learning new uh, systems, lots of systems, so we can change and switch during games and tactically we're evolving. There's no two ways about that. And you also got to have a big shout out for our, our experienced players as well because they're really putting in a shift right now. All of them are stepping up to the plate. William's been absolutely superb. And Janino, you know, he's getting the plaudits from the fans and quite rightly so. I think he's been superb, absolutely superb. So it's all good. It's all positive. It's uh, fantastic news. As I say, that great result in the, the week, in midweek with prior to that, that result in France. So... It's all back on. We've got in the Champions League. Obviously, we've got a double header now against Ajax. They're massively, massively important games. We can win that game at home. Then uh, we've got every opportunity of or getting something out of it. You know, I think we can get something out of the game at home to Lille. And uh, definitely, uh, we're more than capable of going to the Mestalla and get something in Spain at Valencia. And, of course, we're in the next round of the uh, Caribo Cup where we have Manchester United at Stamford Bridge, where it'd be nice for a little bit of payback, wouldn't it, you know, for that false result at the start of the season. So there you go, guys. I just thought I'd catch up with you, just to explain why I haven't been up for about five, six days. And uh, and that's the reason, you know, just let it get to me a little bit. And, um, you know, uh, hopefully I'll get some positive feedback back from YouTube. Because uh, I've, I've I've done no violation. There's no copyright involved whatsoever, and it's tracks that I've used before. And uh, it, what really annoys me, it it, it you know, it takes so long to put these things together, and you just think, do you know what? Why fucking bother if they're just going to do that, you know? But uh, hopefully things are going to sort themselves out. And as I say thanks for you know for supporting me throughout this time, and uh, I'll speak to you all very soon and of course keep the blue flag flying away <laughs>